Hey, I'm Courtney Warren. So many things cloud our ability to make our house feel like home. I'm here to help you draw out your unique style by quieting the noise around you. I want to help you uncover where you're stuck and give you practical tips for everyday design. Something I've really tried to enact over the last 20 or so clients I've had recently is to find personal items for them. I want this to feel like such a personalized experience that I'm finding and drawing out their unique style, and then I'm shopping for items that I know they'll love. So that's what I'm doing today. I get to shop. Hello? Hey, do you have a second? Hey, I do. Uh, some good news and some bad news. Oh, good news and bad news? Okay. What is it? Give me the good news first. Okay. Good news. So, there's this builder and he's been following you for a while and he approached us and he wants to do some custom homes with you. That's amazing. That is good news. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. I think so too. Yeah. Okay. So, then there's other good news. So, Better Homes and Gardens just contacted us and they want to feature you again this year. Oh my gosh, so okay. Two for this year. That's fantastic. So, I don't know how your bad news could be could beat those good newses. Well, it kind of has to do with those. Okay. So, the project manager who has been leading point on the project right. just gave their two weeks notice. Oh. oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is, that is bad news. Like, I feel like we were just getting traction. I agree, but we have some really good resumes, so I'm going to start interviewing to fill the position. Okay, thanks, Kara. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. I was not prepared to hear that news. I am not, I do not want to lose a team member. I'm really feeling a little discouraged. I'm so glad that I'm meeting with my friend Hillary for lunch. She is a bundle of sunshine, and I think she'll have some really wise words for me. Hillary, my favorite story is one of the first times we met when we were on your TV show and I embarrassed myself so bad. Do you remember this at See, all? See, I don't remember you doing anything embarrassing, okay. so please refresh my memory. Okay, well, that makes me feel better. So we were talking about how to create a cozy home and it was so early in the morning. Like, what time did you get to work? Um, I would get there at 3 a.m. Okay, and so I, I am not functioning at 3 a.m. There's no <laughs> amount of caffeine that can help my body function. So it was a little later in the day, but I, you asked me a question and I wanted to say blanket, like a grown woman. And I ended up saying blanky, like a four-year-old. <laughs> but it wasn't just that I said blanky. In my brain, it's, it's foggy and early morning. And so I'm like, oh, I just said blanky. I need to say again, blanket, like a grown-up. But I said it again, blanky. So I'm like, blanky. No, no, I mean blanky. And I think you just looked at me and you're like, okay. And like kept going. But I felt so stupid. Okay, but you weren't wrong. <laughs> Blankies do make a home very cozy. Everybody needs a blankie. <laughs> I agree. Well, we definitely don't get to see each other enough. And the last time we had lunch, you were telling me that you guys were moving forward with building your house, but I don't know where you are in the process now. So what's yeah. going on? I think the hardest part of it is trying to engage my two boys. Like, I want this to be such a special house for them, and it's it's hard to get kids involved in that. So they just don't have any interest in the process? No. no. I, I mean, if it's not like a PlayStation or like YouTube, I don't, I mean, I don't know how to <laughs> engage them, them anymore. This is where his roots are gonna be. We've moved around a lot renovate, renovating houses, but this is gonna be like where we settle. So this is the last place that he'll think of as home before he leaves for good. I know, it's crazy. That's the saddest thing. It's so sad, yeah. Oh, I know, so I'm feeling this pressure of, I need him to love it, I need him to get engaged, I need him to want to bring his friends, I need this to be the cool house. You know, you want, as a mom, you wanna be the house where yeah. everybody comes. And so, I just don't know how to do that. What do you think would make it feel like home for them? Like, what do you think would be something that just makes it feel like this is where I want to be, this is where my best memories are. The first thing that comes into my mind is the funniest, silliest answer. I think what it is is a basketball goal. <laughs> and that's so weird. Because, Boys, I know, yeah. right? Because like grown-ups, we have like, you know, we want this floor plan and this patio and a big long table to host our Christmas and you know, all these things that are so important for family. But like for kids, like that's where they go to. They go to like the outside. I think he could like have a porty potty and like have a basketball goal and he would be fine totally with it. Happy. I know, right? <laughs> I could save a lot of money on the back end if we just put up this just basketball sleep goal. Sleep outside. Yeah. Well, okay, so you're definitely getting a basketball goal yeah, then. Yeah, I okay. feel like it's, it's a no-brainer. All right, so once you guys put the basketball goal in, 
I wonder if you could do like a like a family basketball night every night for the first couple of weeks, just so that they get used to playing outside at your new house and it gives them something to look forward to and they really associate it with home. Yeah, that's a great idea. Now, I'm not a big baller. So you are a, a bit of I a mean, girly I, girl. So. That, yes, right. <laughs> so, but I think I could get into that. Like yeah. if it's for the sake of engaging the family. What if you're just like cheering them on? Yes. And I think it would be fun too. Like, what if he invited some of his friends over and they did just like a like a hoop it up party on a Saturday? We just order pizza, play basketball, and he gets to kind of show off his new his new place to his friends. I love that idea. I knew this was going to be. I'm a good expecting lunch. an invite. Oh, you are there. You are there. You're helping me. Uh, I won't be making any goals. No. but I can cheer from the sidelines. That's right. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get some cheerleading outfits. Pretty much. I'm, I'm going online right him, now. He would be so embarrassed. Let's do that. Oh my gosh! Yes. Yes. Okay. The two old ladies and cheerleading yes, and like high skirts and like pigtails. Perfect. I'm in. Okay. All we're right. planning this now. Done. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so Kyle, how's everything going here? Everything here is going as planned with the exception of the weather. I mean, because before when we were out here, it was just dirt and then it was sticks. And so now to see the, the kind of outline of the house with this like brown dirt is really exciting because we can see actually what it's gonna look like. We can see, like we're probably in like the hallway right now, you know, like that's yeah, really exciting. Yeah, 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 progress. Yeah, progress. hold on, I'm so sorry. Hold on, I need to take this, it's um, Joel. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you doing? I am at the land. I'm talking to Kyle and he's showing me what uh, trees we're gonna get cut down. Well, there's something I need to tell you about and I don't know how you're gonna take it. Uh-oh, okay. I've been approached by an, another job opportunity and it would be big promotion and uh, they want me to interview next week. So I'm gonna go out there and it's an hour away. Okay. Um, but it also means uh, with building the house that we just need to pause the construction until we decide if we're going to move or not. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I need to process this and we need to talk more about like what that would mean. I don't know how we would sell this right now. So right. that would be crazy. I don't know. Let's just talk when we get home, okay? Okay, that sounds great. I'll see you tonight. Okay, okay. love Take you. Care. Bye. Love you, bye. I cannot believe Joel just dropped this bomb on me. I'm really, I don't know what to think. I was trying not to overreact in front of our contractor and have like some marital discourse, but I really need to go home and talk to Joel about what he's thinking because we are not moving an hour away in the middle of building this house. I don't know what to think. One of the reasons that people feel stuck in designing their home is because real life happens along the way. Stay with me in my journey. I heard you go to Sonic so many times a day that you know the car hops by name and give them Christmas cards. Is this true? Yes, it's true. I have a diet Dr. Pepper addiction and I think that they should sponsor these videos at Sonic because I love you, Sonic. Mm -hmm.